This is Sorgard and his good friend Garlic. Here in the streets of Imprella, they spend some of their hard-earned cash on world-renowned Imperial wine and some of that world-renowned Imperial snoo snoo. But to get here, they toiled on a long and perilous road, fighting off bandits and other rabble and competing in tournaments. Sorgard started with only a thousand gold in his pocket and big dreams of one day becoming a famous Drusnik. Or however the hell you say that. Okay, before we talk about Sorgard, let's talk about the mods and what we will be using for this potentially very short campaign. Uh, we're going to be using You Keep What You Kill. What that does is if Sorgard downs an enemy in battle, their loot will be available after we win. Um, Custom Spawns API, we're running that because we are running Calradia at War, which adds a few smaller bands of adventurers and other factions. Uh, instant Death is another big one. Basically, our character dies permanently if they fall in battle, regardless of whether it's a blunt weapon or a sharp weapon. Uh, it does not matter. If they fall, they are dead. We're also going to be running Death for All, which greatly increases hero NPC chances of death as well. And we are also running open source armory for this particular run. Um, open source saddlery and weaponry. Um, we may, but won't really be using them definitely not salary um but yeah so that is what we are running for this campaign yeah let's go sword guard just the banner lizzle iron man big big boom table death for all battle heroes we're good to go here we we got the little chicken banner Okay, let's see what else do we need. I think medicine is very important. It was athletics. Bro, he kind of steezed up, dude. After spending the entirety of his life savings on a brand new straw hat, Sorgard set out to make a name for himself. Huh! <gasps> I don't know, man. This is so sketchy. I'm gonna Stop do it. There in the... I'm my command! No one's with you, homie. Are you aware of that? Here's what we do here. Okay, not a great start. That's a pretty good start. Big time business. I tell you what. No! That's so bad for us. Okay, that's pretty good. Hillman, you're killing me! No way, you're just a sniper with those rocks. Dude. Okay, the Hillman's actually the worst one. That's crazy. Okay, these guys like try to outrange me every time, which is what I need. Other brigands gotta be close to one shot as well. He's not. Wow. Okay, good. We want that armor. There we go. Let's go, baby. Huge. Huge. Come on, baby. Give me the goods. Let's go. Wait, that's still not everything, but uh, still better than I think we would. That's some money, bro. Definitely cavalry. Definitely we want speed of maneuvering over everything. I think we go fight those. Mountain bandidos. <gasps> Bruh. I think we actually surrender here, which sucks. We surrender. Which is a pain to me to say. <sighs> cool.
cool. Maybe. And okay, that's pretty good. Okay, Spangle Helm would be a huge come up for us. I don't know, we're pretty bad. I'm risking it all. That's a legendary. That's unfortunate. What the? Okay. Here we go, baby. Nice. Let's go, dude. Crazy. These are gonna be the problem, boys, for us. Uh, I'm gonna be fighting the cataphract, I think. Which is gonna be pretty tough, honestly. Probably better the cataphract than the legendary, maybe, though. Okay, this is gonna be rough. So good. Let's go, dude. Let's go. I'm gonna miss this hat, honestly. Oh yeah. <gasps> okay, wait. We can follow this guy in. Oh. Oh, oh, ah! Okay, wait. This could be big. This could be big. We go here. We try to get some of that young money, baby. What is happening? Why can I not join? I, I don't think I know you. I mean, he made it safe for us, I guess. So that's something. Yeah, there's a tournament here for Lamalar VM races. Let's go, dude. Bro. Okay, we're kind of cooking, dude. Got him. Got him, boy. Let's go, baby. Bro, die already. Get through this, we'll be cooking. Block it for my homie. Nice. Okay, 
take the cataphract we can this guy. It's almost time we find a companion. But this guy's good. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? I'm drunk, so I'll tell you. My man. I was a soldier. It was my father's profession. I thought it would be easier for me. I wasn't scared of death. Of death or hardship. But things happen to warn up the deaths, the wounds, the screaming, but terrible things. It's difficult to explain. Let's say there's a man. He saves your life. He takes a blow for you. And he doesn't boast about it. He doesn't tell anyone else. He just grins at you. Because he knows you do the same for him. He's your brother. Every man who fights with him is his brother. Damn. But everyone else, they're beasts to him, and he's a beast to them. And maybe a day comes he's gone too far about the Lord is... And the Lord is wondering whether to hang him. And a word from you determines whether he lives or die. And if he lives, that means more peasant women will be... What? <laughs> and old men cut open to look for jewels in their bellies. Like, he's the guy who... Okay, so he's the one doing this stuff. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, I want you on my team, so I'm just going to say it's a terrible dilemma. <laughs> Don't judge me! I said nothing. I let my brother hang. I thought I did the right thing, but every night thereafter, I saw accusation in the eyes of my fellows. I could not face them. I fled, and here I am now. Dude, that's actually, like, kind of a crazy story. Okay. If you work for me, we could discuss it. Oh, if you have worked for me. Yeah, I do. I want you to fight alongside me. You'll probably die, honestly, man. So, just know that you won't have to live with that pain much longer. Alright, Garlic. On the bright side, you uh, probably won't have to worry about any of that stuff much longer probably gonna die while being uh, in, in my service so if that's any consolation there you go we're just armless shepherds me too bro Coward's weapon, we don't use them. <clears throat> wow, this is gonna be so hard. Okay. <laughs> what on earth, bruh? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's go. This was, if we get this. Oh, save our boy. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Huge. Sorgard had really started to get some wind under his sails. Having won several tournaments, he finally had a set of armor to truly call his own, and even a bit of money in the bank. He had made a friend in Garlic. Maybe more honestly. After all, it gets pretty lonely camping out in the wilderness, or traveling the various ends. Sometimes, a bedroll warms more quickly with a little friction, if you know what I mean. Anyway, the point is that Sorgard had momentum on his side. But, as the old saying goes, what goes up must come down. And luck, it seemed, had turned its ugly backside on our dear friend. Ah, but that is in the next episode. For now, I'm Crank Lopez. I have crippling attention deficit disorder. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>